learning basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modify commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. In lesson 2 of the tutorials, discuss about some of the following draw commands used in completing your AutoCAD works. These commands commonly used to create drawing or start drawing, especially constructing 2D drawings. It includes polyline, x-line or construction line, ray, circle, rectangle, and polyline commands. Line is straight with no curves, has no thickness, and extends in both directions without end or infinite. A part of a line is called line segments having two endpoints and creating line segments demonstrated at the previous tutorial using line command. Kung gagamitin natin ang command na ito, maaari lamang napuntahan ang home tab at hanapin ang x-line icon in the draw panel. Click this fly out and look for the icon. So this is the construction line or x-line command icon. Left click to activate the command. You can press escape key to end the command. Then, you can also use the shortcut keys in activating the command. Pindutin ang XL keys in the keyboard or type XLINE. Then, press enter to activate. Click the snap mode to on and off it. Specify a point anywhere at the drawing space. Left click at the drawing space. Move the mouse, then click again bilang through point ng X-Line. Pwede gumawa ng maraming X-Line as you want by simply clicking at the drawing space and determining its through points. Press Escape key to end it. For the meantime, let's delete the object using Erase command. Select the objects. Left click at the drawing space, move the crosshair cursor going to the objects and release. And press Enter or Spacebar key. Let's use xline command again. Type the shortcut keys and press enter or spacebar key. Left click at the drawing space to specify a point. Glawin ang cursor by moving your mouse para makita ang posisyon ng inyong xline. Pindutin lamang ang F8 key kung gusto natin gumawa ng vertical o patayong linya at horizontal o pahigang linya. Move the mouse to see the orientation of your construction line then left click it. Tanggalin muna natin ito using Erase command. This time, let's apply X-Line command in solving drawing problem. I-move muna natin ang ating drawing space using Pan command. Just press and hold the scroll button then drag it. Kung makikita natin, we have the isometric drawing on the right side of the area. A pictorial drawing of a box. On the other side of the area, we have the orthographic drawing by which it was represented by front view and the two remaining views were missing the top and the right side views in this case we will be solving the missing views gamit ang construction line or x-line command gamitin ang front view that serves as the reference and projecting para makuha ang ibang mga views in activating the command pwede pumunta sa home tab then look for the draw panel and get click the icon basis sa sinabi kanina o maaaring gamitin ang shortcut keys nito. You can type XL and press the enter or spacebar key. Ngayon, we need to specify a point to use in creating our X line o kaya ay maaari tayong pumili in the options according to the command window either HOR for horizontal, VER for vertical, ang for angle 
by sec or offset. Say, on this activity, unahin natin na i-project ang height o ang taas ng object. Gawa muna tayo ng horizontal X line to project and start solving the right side view. In the options, piliin natin ang hor or type H bilang shortcut key nito, then press enter or space bar key. So this time, we have now horizontal line. Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin is to locate it in specific location or determine its through point. Sa halimbawang ito, ilalagay natin ang X line sa itaas na bahagi at sa ibabang bahagi ng object to project the height of the drawing. So pick your through point at the corner of the rectangle. Press shift key plus right click the mouse para makita ang object snaps. Then choose end point or you can choose other object snaps that suit to your needs. Lagyan rin natin sa baba. At ngayon, na project na natin ang height ng drawing. You can add more X line as possible in order to project the other details of the drawing, most especially concerning the height of the objects. Press escape to end the command. Next thing to do is to project the length of the front view going to the top to solve its top view. Press spacebar or the enter key to reactivate the previous command. Then the X line command was reactivated. This time, kailangan natin gumawa ng vertical line in order to project the length of the object. Pick ver in the options for vertical or type V as the shortcut key, then press enter or spacebar key. Place the X line into the specific location. Sa parehas na pamamaraan, kung gusto natin makita ang object snaps, again, press shift key plus right click the mouse and select kung ano ang dapat na gamitin. Sa sample na ito, gusto kong gamitin ang midpoint. Move the cursor malapit sa linya na gusto mong matrack ang midpoint nito. Then left click the midpoint of the line. Do it on the other line. And we now projected the length of the object. Para kumplituhin ang top at right side views, kailangan alamin natin ang kapal ng box then i-transfer ito sa orthographic drawing. Gamit ang meter line method sa paggawa ng orthographic drawing, kailangan tayo na gumawa o maglagay ng tinatawag na meter line. Ito ay linya na mayroong 45 degrees angle upang magamit ito sa pag-project ng width o depth ng drawing. Maaaring galing sa top view patungo sa right side view o vice versa. Sa pagpapatuloy, Gagawa tayo ng meter line. Gamit ang X line command, type the shortcut key. XL, then press space or enter key again. Ngayon, piliin natin ang ang create line with angle. You can click the options or type A, a shortcut key, then press enter or space bar key again. Maglagay kung ilang degrees ang angle na magiging angle nito. Type 45 bilang degrees ng meter line, then enter it by pressing enter or space bar key. At meron na tayong X line that is 45 degrees angle. Specify the true point by picking the upper right corner of the front view. You can choose at the object snaps, the intersection, then move the mouse at the intersection and click it. Press escape key to end the specific command. To continue, we need to complete the top view getting the depth or the width based on the isometric drawing. Gawa ulit tayo ng horizontal X line gamit ang parehas na ginawa natin kaniya. Determine the through point. Pick a point. The point of intersection between the horizontal X line at ginawa nating meter line ay gagamitin natin upang i-project ito papuntang right side view. To continue, kumplituhin na natin ang right side view by determining the depth or width gamit ang ISO drawing. The depth of the box is 5. Gamit ang horizontal X line in the right side view, we will copy it 5 units going to the right using copy command. Type CO, press space bar or enter key. 
Piliin ang objects na kailangan kopyahin at pindutin ulit ang spacebar or enter key. Move the cursor going to the right, then type 5 as the distance from the copied object, then press spacebar or enter key. Again, the point of intersection produced gamit ang kinopyang horizontal x line at meter line ay gagamitin upang maiproject ang kapal ng right view or right side view papuntang top view using the same process. Kung mapapansin natin, the top view and the right side view ay buo na using the concept of projection at gamit ang excellent command. Upang maging klarado ang drawing natin, aalisin na lang natin ang mga di gaano kailangang mga linya gamit ang trim and erase command. Just type TR as the shortcut keys for trim then press space bar or enter key two times. Then perform trimming. You can also type E for erase and press space bar or enter key again to activate the command. Select the objects to be erased at sa uulitin, pindutin ang space bar or enter key upang maisagawa ang command. Huwag kakalimutan na panoorin ang mga susunod na mga videos na may mas detalyadong pagpapahayag na tumutukoy sa paggamit ng nasabing trim at erase command. So we have now completed the missing views using xline command as the drawing command and other modify commands like copy, trim, at erase command to finalize the drawing. With that, consider construction or xline command in completing or achieving your CAD works. Thank you.